Welcome to No Money Spent Sniping Grow Rich Episode 2. In the last episode, I spent some time in the Spurs budget filter in order to get myself MT. And I left you guys in a cliffhanger where I didn't tell you guys how much MT or profit that I made off the snipes that I got. So we're about to look into that right now. Here are my auction outcomes. And as you can see, all these guys made me profit. The ones that made me the least profit were these two Damars. It took me a while to sell them, but at the end of the day, we still made profit. So because the filter was 1300 max bio and if i sold it for 1600 even after tax it's still a tiny bit of profit although not not the best but out of all of this remember before we were on the filter we started off with 7300 i don't expect us to be at anything too significant but profit was definitely made on this filter and let's see what the final result is 11,646, so around 4,300 MT. So now that I'm a 10,000 MT man, I think I'm gonna spend some time on the Galaxy Opal filter, which would be the next budget filter that I would use. And I think this one, I haven't never used this filter really before like that. I got one snipe on it in a snipe filter video. So I think it'll be interesting to actually use this and see how many snipes I can get on it. Picking up where we left off yesterday, I'm logging in this morning and I'm getting myself one token from the daily login. Tomorrow we'll get a throwback moment southeast pack so hopefully i can get a nice pink diamond out of one of those or i why i said one of those is only one right but hey today we got to hop on the opal filter like i was just saying in before so let's see what the cheapest price for the opal is and if you guys want to use this filter as well pay attention right here ah so the cheapest is nine thousand for this opal lebron now i actually saw this filter someone got a james wiseman for 500 bro and if we check james wiseman's price i mean that man is diesel in terms of his price i mean he's a good card as well i mean for an opal bro he's going for 130 like there's not many opals that are this price if any so like it's definitely a good card and if i could snipe him for 500 bro i would honestly just keep him because it's basically a free opal but because the max or the the cheapest Le lebron was 9,000, if i want to set up the filter in a way where i'll make profit i would take away 10 percent of 9,000, which is 900 and if you take away 900 from 9,000, that's going to put you at 81, or I said 81, 8,100, right? So if I had my max bio to 8,100 and I sniped the LeBron and I sold it back for 9,000, I would just break even. I wouldn't make any profit. So in this case, I want to lower it just a little bit. I would say like by 200 MT, even 300 is fine. So 79, 78, I'll go 78 and whatever pops up even if it's a lebron i'll buy it and i'll sell it back if it's lebron i'll sell it for nine thousand. if it's anything else i'll check the price of it and then i'll sell it back so i'll use this filter i'm going to try to get close to 100 kmt in this episode we'll see what happens now there's something that i want to point out in this you know while i while i'm sniping here is that when you are trying to build a good team like the way that i am right now starting especially when you have no mt the best option and the best route you can take is just to make a lot of mt first don't focus on buying players focus on earning mt you're gonna see that's the the process or that's the route that i'm going to take throughout this video or throughout this series is i'm going to earn a whole bunch of mt and then i'll just splurge and go buy who i want later on so don't worry about who's the best player for 50k mt if you happen to have 50k don't worry about who's the best player for 10k or the best budget but don't worry about that because you can literally have whatever cards you want you have to focus on earning the MT and then just buying the players. And you'll see me do that in this series. Guys, I've been on this Opal filter and it's completely dead. I'm not using this. I think I'm just going to switch over to something else. I'm going to try this Diamond Filter Max Buyout 1400. We'll see if we have, have any luck with this. Oh, bro. Literally my first refresh after saying, let's see if we have any luck with this. I get a snipe. Okay. I guess we're using this one now. Oh, snap. I'm currently checking the prices of Luke Gwen's door, and this is going to be a snipe right here, bro. 2250 and then the cheapest is going for 3400 If I post it for 3300 I'm going to make profit off of this. Now, the reason I was actually checking the price of Luke Gwen's door was because the diamond filter was also dead for me. And now it's looking like the filters that I want to use are all dead. So we got to figure some way out, and that's what I'm in the process of doing is figuring out another filter that i can use it's going to be more consistent because to be honest i don't like to use budget filters like that i mean that's why i always tell you guys once you have 100 kmt never go below that because now you're forced to use budget filters and it's kind of a tedious process to get up to 100k but here we go dorts for what 3300 john stockton we got him on our first refresh then we didn't see anything after that for a while i don't know what was up with that but he was going for what 17 50 or so i think i'll pull some for 1700 we'll make just a few hundred you know off this snipe too and we'll wait for those to sell 
Now we're in the process for looking for another filter. So sometimes you can come up with filters by looking into the agendas and a lot of filters, budget filters especially come from these agendas right here where you need specific players for specific tasks, right? So that's what I'm looking for right here. If I go flash nine, we might be able to do something with some of these budget guys here. So I'm going to take a look and see if there's any agendas for the new flash nine. So we got flash nine right here. Make 10 dunks with glitched Rondé Hollis Jefferson in a single challenge game. And then you got to score with Okiki as well. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. So because these give so much XP, I might be able to snipe these guys. And maybe a flash nine filter would just be the answer to my problems. So if I go to the auction house and I put the theme to flash nine. And then I find the cheapest flash nine player. I don't know how, I don't know if this filter can be consistent, but I'm just trying to come up with one off the top of my head, you know? But if we look at the cheapest, I went to 2,450 and nothing came up. So this would be a viable filter. Even 3,200, nothing came up. Let me see. Okay, they, these guys, they're not expensive, but for, you know, for a filter, this is a definitely a solid price you can use a filter for. So the cheapest is 3,300. This is almost perfect. The reason I'm using Flash 9 is because I can snipe any card from the set. So I'm going to set up the filter like this, Flash 9 max buyout 2800 because I think at this point I would make profit. I don't think I know. So hopefully this filter is more consistent. The reason I'm using this filter is because Flash 9 packs are available right now and people are going to be doing the challenges and that means more snipes should go up. It would have been better if I did this on Friday, today's Sunday, so we'll see. But it's a budget filter, so it should work for us. Oh, boom, we got one snipe already, bro. Turn this music off, bro. Okay, we got a little amethyst for 2,250. And he's, that man's going for what? 3,300 or whatever you guys saw. So, I guess that's proof that the filter's gonna work. It hasn't been that long since I started sniping on it. We need to get some more, though. We're gonna snipe until we run out of MT. We only have 6,000, so that would be probably two to three snipes. Oh, boom, another snipe. Let's go, man. Am I, am I like... Am I just that goaded that I can come up with filters off the top of my head, bro, and just use them and apply them and get snipes? Come on, let's continue it. Oh, no. Look at that, bro. Look at that. I, I almost accidentally bid on the card, guys, and I still got the snipe. It's the same guy, Chuma Okiki, however you say his name, I don't know. The same guy, bro. Literally, I sniped him, what, three times in a row? Oh, you can already see my, my cards that sold here. So those guys sold, right? And then we got three Chuma Okikis to sell. And we're going to send them all to the auctions. So I'm going to wait to redeem these two guys right here. And we're going to send these guys to the auctions. And I'll redeem them all at the same time. So you can see how much profit I ended up making. How much did we have before? Was it 11,000 something? So we'll see. So now what you do once you get the snipes, right? You search up the player that you ended up sniping. So this is the process. I'm, I'm teaching you step by step, guys. Search up the player. I have a general idea of what he goes for. But I, I want to find the exact cheapest one, which I'm pretty sure was 3,300. Exactly, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post mine for 3,200, even 3,250. Anything just below 3,300 because whenever someone's searching for this card to complete the Injetta challenges, they're going to buy the cheapest one, obviously, right? And especially mine have contracts on them, at least some of them. Or they all at least have one contract. So I'm going to post all of them for 3200 And they will all get bought out. And that will be profit made on all of them. Some of them more profit than, than others. Depending on what price I bought it at. But hey profit is profit. It stacks. It stacks. And that's the whole purpose of using these filters. Is to do that. And I'm glad I discovered this filter. Um, because it's it's worked for me bro. It, it's better than the diamond one and the opal one. As of right now. So I'm going to continue milking it as much as I can until you know i can't anymore only a little bit of time has passed and here we are with our auctions ready to be redeemed so we'll just redeem all of these and we'll see how much mt we're at boom thirteen thousand. so two thousand mt profit okay remember i didn't spend much time on the filter i just sniped until i ran out of mt and i'm going to continue to do that and eventually as i have more mt the profit you're going to see me make is going to be more and more real quick guys if you want your spotlight sims grinded for you or 12 and 0 domination or evo cards hit up bros nba on twitter links in the description oh snap this is a snipe right here boom i'm just making sure the filter is still viable after you know a little break that i took from sniping 
and as you can see i got myself what another two more for 1800 when the cheapest is going for what 28 as of right now it went down in price a little bit after i posted mine yeah as you can see it went down just a little bit it was like 3200 2300 before but i got this one for 1800 so i'm gonna post it for like 2900 and because the filter went down in price a little bit all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lower the max buyout you saw the cheapest going for 2950 I'm just going to lower that, or we're going to round down to 2900 for that. So I'm going to put my max bot to 2400 And at this point, I'll still make profit off anything that pops up. You know what I'm thinking about right now? If someone threw up Dark Matter Paul George for under 2400 MT, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it? I mean, the odds are super low of that happening, but if it happens, I should be able to see it theoretically because I'm on the filter for it. I can see any card from the Flash 9 set. Now, I can't see Porzingis uh because he's a glitched card and i cannot see james harden because he is also an invincible card so he's not technically part of the flash set um as well as porzingis uh porzingis is glitched so i can't see them but anyone else like james wiseman which is opal and the what's it called jalen brown he's opal as well and all the other pink diamonds and diamonds i can see those boom we got a snipe right there chuma okay that's one for exactly 2400 that's perfect all right, I'm, I'm checking and the prices are continuously dropping. I don't want to risk anything. I'm going to go 2000 in the max bio now because it looks like the, the, the cards, they're going down in price as I'm sniping. And I don't want to potentially miss out on, you know, profit. So I'm actually going to post the ones that I sniped right now before they go down even more. Oh, boom. Boom. Got the songs on two in one refresh. Let's go, bruh i'm telling you this music i don't know bro this music somehow like manifests my snipes man every time i'm jamming out spitting bars i get snipes oh what is this boom come on boom guys it's so easy three of them on one refresh and i messed up on the middle one robert reed and then two of them were for 1200 at this point i have 1500 i couldn't get another snipe but i would have to Put the filter to less i'm gonna sell everything back once again all my players sold and it's time to redeem them once again remember we had 13k when we started sniping so let's redeem all of this man i am excited to see come on come on now give me some big juicy profit and that puts us at 19,000. so we went from 13 to 19 so now we made 6k um, 6k mt off all of the snipes combined you see how it's getting better whoa whoa boom oh i missed this one right here oh no i was just checking the prices of the cards because i took a break and i wanted to see the prices again and boom there were two snipes that came up and i missed uh one of them that sucks but it's all good oh one two we got both snipes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. This guy is crazy. Oh, boom. Another snipe while I'm watching the playoffs. Let's go. Oh. All right. We missed the first one for 1600 but we got the second one for 1800 That's okay. I guess someone's on the filter with me, though. Okay, so today's the next day and we're logging in to get our throwbacks moment our throwback moments southeast award pack Which can give us our first pink diamond if we're lucky enough to pull one which obviously Bradley Beal is here on the cover of the pack and we get nothing So just take what it we, what we get and keep it moving man. Nothing too crazy I think I do have to put in a locker code which I'll do here in a second so I just entered three locker codes that I uh, forgot to put in if you guys are wondering how to put codes in on the same account all you got to do is use the app it's called my NBA 2k21 and just log in on the account and you can put the code in like um, on the app and it'll let you do it because it's not gonna let you put in the same locker code on the same console even if it's a different account so we got a diamond Kenny Walker locker code I just thought I would use this just because I mean it'll be what my second diamond on my squad and I mean why not it doesn't hurt to use it so if it's a free diamond card you know might as well just take it um and then we got the locker codes right here which is going to give us a guaranteed flash pack which hopefully we can get the blue spot or the yellow spot because those contain dark matters all these other packs don't 
and some of these don't even have galaxy opals in it such as the red and we get the teal which best player would be galaxy opal jimmy butler which is not really ideal but i mean obviously he's better than anyone who we currently have on the squad so if we pull him that's always nice and here we go with the next locker code which has a flash nine pack we're gonna drop it in the right corner to try to get this flash pack that's the best place to drop it and let's see if we get it we do get this the spot we wanted if we pull dark matter paul george bro oh my gosh or like and we can pull invincible harden like out of this like it's kind of crazy we'll first off open up the kenny walker pack and this is gonna be nothing crazy i know he has some challenges i don't know exactly what they give maybe i'll look to see but to be honest i don't think i'll be doing that um because it's just not my thing my main focus right now is just to earn mt so challenges aren't really on my agenda no pun intended is that even a pun is that considered a pun you know i don't know bro just know th i don't i'm not doing those bro as of right now okay so galaxy opal Jim jimmy butler let me get one okay no galaxy opal jimmy butler <laughs> amethyst jimmy butler <laughs> what a troll bro honestly man i hope you get dropped off in the playoffs just for that bro okay and let me see this right here dark matter give me a dark matter come on please uh imagine bro i really would have freaked out we got jalen brunson that's all that's all good man i mean i guess since we got amethyst jimmy butler it would make sense to actually throw him on the squad so we'll just run him right there at the shooting guard position next to Melo. and yeah boom there we go we also got diamond kenny walker so we're gonna throw him in at the small forward and who do i have yeah that uh, i guess we'll throw in some emeralds we have a few emerald players here but i mean they're nothing crazy We'll, we'll throw a mellow in here off the bench no actually we're gonna throw in this man right here brandon ingram because i'd be forgetting that i pulled these guys out of the packs uh we'll put damian lillard there and um we'll put david wesley so my team's getting a little better guys a little bit better uh can't run any one of the power forward and we'll run and there's noel so boom this is the squad actually you know what we're gonna move him here move him there and boom this is the squad bro we still got a silver luca uh salmonich or whatever in pj washington gold that needs to get dropped off but at least we don't got full bronze or golds and silvers anymore we got a little bit of a better squad bro and we got some mt so i was on the filter actually um last night and you know i i, I wanted to go to sleep so we're gonna finish off spending all our mt that we have right now on the filter the budget filter that i was on or maybe use a different one i don't know but we'll see and then we'll like just keep continuously stack the mt so i was looking at the agenda challenges and i think they added this new one in where it says holiday steals 10 days left on this i don't know when this was added in maybe it was today for the new rewind stuff i have no idea all i know is it says get 12 steals with idols drew holiday over multiple games and if i look up that man's price he's a diamond so i'm just gonna go diamond drew holiday and that guy is he's not a common card i mean it's kind of expensive so let's let's put a max buyout to find the cheapest one the cheapest one is fifteen thousand, and there's not too many up i don't know if this filter is going to be consistent but all i know is if i snipe him for a good price i'll make profit because he's going for this much so he is in the packs as well so i'm going to try to see if this filter does work at all if it doesn't i'll just switch over to a different one i'm going to put the max buyout on this filter to 11,000 because I only have 11,036 MT. Hopefully, you know, we get some very cheap snipes so we can get at least a like two or three before we run out of MT. That would be really nice. Boom! We got one snipe, Drew Holiday, already for 11K, and that just stripped us of all of our MT. So now we have to sell him back. And he is dropping in price rapidly. I just checked. He's at like 13K now, so. I actually have to sell them like quick before I end up losing MT on this sale. So let's put them for 13k right now. Hopefully he sells. My Drew Holiday already sold, and these Chumas are the ones that I sniped before. Let's redeem them. And after all that, we made 3,000 MT profit. Not ideal to be honest with you guys, but bro, I mean, what else can I do? I have to use these budget filters, so I'll continue to do so. This is why I always say the budget filter process is very tedious, and you don't ever want to have to go through this more than once. I oh boom there we go oh my gosh no i backed out i backed out there was three of them for 500 
And I got one of them. I backed out of the other one by accident, bro. Oh my gosh, man. Boom. Let's go. Guys, I went back to the Drew Holiday filter because I don't know what to do, man. I keep switching up filters and I want to find a really good one. Um, so we just got Drew Holiday and we're going to continue using this filter, bro. I think this, this might be the one that I just stick to. Boom, another Drew Holiday. Let's go. All right, 8,200, 8,500. Now we're out of MT. Now we got to sell them back. Here are the, the three Chumas that I sniped and the two Drew Holidays all have sold. So we're redeeming our MT and we're slowly but surely making our way up there. I don't even know how much MT we had before, but we're at 29, almost 30K now. So we're like a third of the way there to 100K. I don't know if we'll get to 100K by the end of this episode, but I would like to get to 50. But because I'm putting into perspective 100K, we still are kind of way off from that. This one's a sniper here, 8,100. Let's go, bro. I was just checking his price when I was about to get back on the filter, bro. And I get one for 8,100. I'll post this one because there are two right here for 9,800, 9,850. I'll post them for like 9,750. And then as soon as I say that, I refresh once and then someone has posted one for 9,750. So I'll post them for 9,700 now, okay? Man, bro, these dudes be crazy with this stuff. So I do have to adjust the filter from earlier to lower the max buyout a little bit. I'll put it to 8,300 for now. Hmm. Hmm. Drew Holiday. Hope you're eating Ritz crackers, bro. Drew Holiday for 8K. We'll sell them back and we'll make profit. Boom. Drew Holiday, let's go. I got to sell him because we only have 5,000 MT. So I could use a filter still, but I would have to get a Drew for 5K or less. So we're going to put him up right now. And I am going to lower the max bio just by a few hundred there. I'm going to put it to 8K because it seems like he's going down in price even more. Bro. Bro. Bro, I'm, why am I on the filter? I'm on the filter, bro. For 7k, the cheapest Drew Holla that I see. I didn't even realize I didn't have enough MT to get that. Bro, I'm gonna have to put it to 5.5 right now until I have enough MT. Like, I'm so stupid, bro. I set up the filter to a price where I couldn't even afford the player if it were to pop up, bro. Oh my gosh. And that was the cheapest Drew Holla that I seen when it made me the most profit, bro. Of course, when I don't have the MT for it, it pops, bro. Like, what? Oh my gosh. Come on, let's go. Let's go. I was just checking Drew Holiday's price. We got one for 4,900. Wow. Because I was sniping with the Max Bio because you just saw that I couldn't afford the other one. And I switched the Max Bio to 5,500 for a few minutes. Didn't see anything. And then as soon as I check his price, we see one for 4,900. Wow, that's crazy. And here we are with all my Drew Holiday selling. Only 681 MT right now. And once I redeem this, I'll definitely have a lot more.